Hi snooze lovers and welcome to another snooze review here at Stiff Upper Lip in collaboration with snooze24.com. Uh, I'll warn you in advance uh, for my editing attempts in this video. I've gone a little bit uh, editing mad. What I've done is uh, I've actually bought a yearly subscription to Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm not using that yet for this or probably next video but you'll see me using that soon. Uh, just really interested in editing now uh, the possibilities are really endless. So we'll soon go over to Adobe. Uh, I'll also change the background actually. I, I do like this background but um, uh, the whiteboard here uh, belongs to a friend of mine. She wants it back after I borrowed it for three years. Uh, so I thought why not just try another background, uh, get rid of the lens flare hopefully as well. So today we are looking at a snooze from Swedish match. It is Mustang Vit. Gotcha. <laughs> so, uh, I call this Mustang Vite. Um, feels tempting to go Mustang, you can obviously do that. But you know, some snoozers are called Vite, some others are called White. This one goes with Swedish, so I'm going to go Mustang. Uh, it's one uh, of the three in the Mustang, Mustang range. Uh, I think it was released uh, only last year, 2015. I've already reviewed the original portion and the loose. Price wise, uh, it's sort of lower mid price range. I'll put, put it in the mid price range, but uh, I think it's cheaper than the X range. It's cheaper than Knox, for instance. So it's, um, it's a quite competitive snooze so far, I found. Uh, uh, I really like the original and the loose. They're quite fruity, quite bold. Um, all three should be tobacco centric, but they made something different with the white one. And that is that it's yet another bergamot snooze. Um, so we'll see how it compares and what sort of specifically makes it fit in the Mustang range as well. Uh, also different to the original portion, those are full full portions. Uh, the Swedish match are saying that this is a big Prilla. Well, it's 0.8 grams, so it's not that big. But you do get a full can of 24 portions in it. Uh, Nicotine-wise, it's 12 milligrams per gram, so that means 9.6 milligrams per portion then. And as usual with Swedish Match, most of the time at least, we get a large catch lid. So while the original portion uh, and the loose uh, have like a dark spicy tobacco character, this one should have a light and spicy tobacco character. With bergamot, tea-like, also white flowers apparently. So we'll see if we get any of that. The can now has this uh, updated uh, warning label that goes uh, across the banner. It says, Denna tobaksvara skadar hälsan och är beroende framkallande. So the change to the old one is that now it says it harms your health. Before it used to say it can or may harm your health. So they felt they wanted to put that on there. Okay, let's look at these. Yeah, clean, nice looking white portions a mm, little bit of moisture not bone dry these ones um, and for the mustang range they're using a new production technique should fill up the portions a little bit Let's see yeah sort of looks all right doesn't it comes slightly a little bit to one side some of them maybe uh, but looking good don't have to fluff them up too much the smell of it. Okay, you get the initial whiff of ammonia, which should go away after a while. Just means it's fresh. Doesn't have that uh, heaviness of of the other, uh, the original Mustang. It's more bergamot, obviously. I get quite a lot of herbs as well, so it's it's a different character to the original, so it's quite interesting that they made a change in taste profile, I think. So as usual, I'll go through the whole can, uh, so I'll know much more about it, and uh, give you my verdict on Mustang Viet. So it's not the most fancy snooze of all time, but it's solid. Uh, I think what they try to do here with the Mustang range is really get a good, solid, traditional snooze for the traditional snooze lover, with a nice little price tag on it. I think that's what they've done here. Um, it's quite different to the original one. That's 
much bolder, more satisfying to me. I like that one with coffee. Uh, it's darker here. It's for the traditional snooze lovers who love the bergamot snooze and don't want to pay full price. Very soft, nice portions. I think the moisture level is quite perfect for uh, a white portion. It's very nice feel in there. Not too small, works pretty well. It's got a bit of saltiness, not too much. I think it's very balanced. They've done a good job there. Uh, there's no smokiness as such, but the taste does come through quite well. So it's quite long lasting. Uh, white portions often do that. This one, I think it's a very balanced snooze. They did really well on that. Uh, but you know, it's if you first tr uh, start trying snooze, uh, this might not be that interesting because you want to uh, fancy flavors and all that and that's fine but i think uh, this sort of snooze it's it's one that lasts a long time when you start using it all the time snooze this will be you know a winner in the long run but it's also not a very fancy snooze it's it's a snooze basically it's not uh, you know cool like a ford mustang or uh, wild and free roaming like a mustang horse at all it's a snooze uh, it's an alternative to Knox, which is also bergamot snooze. That one I think is a little bit more bitter. This one has bitterness in there. It's quite a balanced bitterness. Um, a very, very slight sweetness from that white flower, but it doesn't really taste of flowers. It's a solid bergamot snooze with where everything is balanced. The saltiness, uh, the slight uh, floral, background but i think it's a little bit um herbal as well uh which i think it reminds me a little bit of the now discontinued um general variation rustic blend so it, it would be interesting to try those side by side but that doesn't exist anymore so I'll also try um yeah, uh, the general white i haven't reviewed that so that would be cool to compare i'm going to put the second one in here last one so, nothing fancy, but solid. It's not going to blow you away, probably, but it's got a good price if you like bergamot snooze. Try this one, try Nox, try Granite, try uh, General. See if uh, the price difference in uh, General is worth it for you. Uh, so that's what they're doing with Mustang range. They're going traditional, but different taste profiles. The original portion is a little bit closer to the Groove, this one is closer to General, nice surprise, uh, has good chance of competing in that price range. So I think it's good, but nothing fancy. It's a snooze, traditional. Uh, I will give it a solid 6 out of 10 for Mustang Viet. One that uh, probably won't blow you away, but this is the taste of snooze uh, really, and everything is balanced in there. Good stuff. So uh, I'll see you next weekend for another review. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe if you like the videos. Bye.